Hello everyone, welcome to SB Codes and today we are going to make a video on selection sort. So be with me till the end of the video. Today we will detail in the detailed discussion we will do on selection sort. This is a sorting technique. In the previous video binary search, I already told you that the array should be sorted. Now how to sort? There are two methods of sorting an array. More methods are also there, but we will discuss them in later sessions. But first, here in this session, we got we gonna learn about selection sort. Then we also have bubble sort, merge sort, quick sort. Those are also there. Don't get confused. The simplest one is selection sort. Selection sort. The name only, I think the name, sorry. <coughs> the name only tells you. The name only tells you selection sort. What is selection sort? Achha. Selection sort means one element first we will select it selection sort obviously first selection will be there first we will select this element we will check with the rest of the array that whether this element is, is less than is less than all other elements or not if we find that any other element is smaller than this element then that element will be taken as the smallest element okay then we will again traverse throughout the array and up to the last we will traverse and finally we will get the smallest element inside the array now what we will do we will keep that element outside this uh, traversing part outside we will keep it and then again with this element we will check the whole array let's make it more clear let's make it more clear with the above example i have taken a six uh, uh, an array of length six first what we will do let's fill the fill a few elements inside <laughs> excuse me list few uh, fill a uh, few elements inside then we have uh, five we have uh, nine. Then we have three, seven, and we have two. Okay. So here are uh, six elements present in this array. Now we have to sort this array. <coughs> what we will do is we will select this part first. Up to here, we will select. We will keep this fix okay we will assume that this is the smallest element we will assume first and then we will check from here to the rest of the array if any element is smaller than this element or not okay if any element is smaller than this element or not <laughs> at first only all the other elements are smaller than this element obviously all other elements are smaller than this element so what will happen First, this element will come in place that yes, this element is smaller. Okay, this element is smaller. So then we will fix, we will select this one. Then we will, <coughs> sorry, then we will select this element, minimum, minimum element, this will be the minimum element. Again, we will check whether this element is smaller than that or not, but then this, then this, so our work will be for the first time to find the smallest element in the rest of the array. And find the smallest element in the rest of the array. If we get a smallest element, we will get something. If we get a smallest element inside this part of the array, then that, for example, that is, uh, we will get what, what is 2, which is the very smallest element in this part of the array. So that will be, uh, that will be exchanged here that will that two will be kept in this part of the array that means at the zeroth position of the array and what was there in the zeroth position of the array will be transferred to the place where two was found okay two was found so what it will look like it will look like two will come here <coughs> sorry two will come here and the rest of the elements will be at the same position and 10 will come here okay so two is already kept now we will check with 5. 5 will be selected now. 
and with five other elements will be compared. If any element we get as the smallest element, that is, that will be the number three element. So three will be passed here at the place of five, and five will be kept at the place of three. Three will be kept here, and five will be kept at the position of three. It will be swapped. So like this, each element is selected. Then the smallest element except that element is found. Then if it is found element smaller than that is found, then it is just exchanged with it. It is just swapped with it. Okay. When we will write the code, it will be much more clear to you. Let me try it. Okay. This is binary search. I will copy this program. For shortening of the task or saving time. <laughs> Excuse me. The time is very bad. Winter season, but sometimes it feels hot, sometimes cold. <laughs> That's why I got cuff and cold. This is selection sort. What we are doing is selection sort. Okay. Selection sort. What we need, an array we need. An array we need. Enter elements of the array in ascending order. No need of ascending order. We will just enter the elements of array. No number needs to be searched. And these all things also we don't know. We don't need. So let's delete this part. <coughs> For now, what we need is int variable int minimum is equals to or rather um, nothing let's do okay so now a for loop we will run we give a space here you will understand it better int i is equals to first zero i less than six i plus plus so this part is done this much is done. outer loop this is the outer loop which will run from outer loop will run from from 0th element to the last element okay 0th element to the last element but the inner loop will check except that for 0th element so we will leave that i position first i position of i i plus 1 will go from i plus 1 we will leave that uh, <coughs> i position after one position of i is if this is the 0th position then from first position we will carry on our searching of the lowest index okay because first index you cannot uh, you cannot uh, compare with anyone that whether the first index the element present at first index is smaller or bigger or something okay that we have to select that is only selection sort is all about okay so that part will be selected so main is equals to i i will write okay here we are uh, i will write the comments later means we are assuming that the uh, first in at the first index or the, the zeroth index at the zeroth index the smallest element is present now another for loop we need that is j is equals to i plus 1 <laughs> we will leave one position from the uh, left side and we will start uh, checking after that uh, means uh, i position okay i value is 0 so from first position we will start our checking if i value is 1 then from second position we will start checking so that's why less than 6 obviously j okay. plus plus <laughs> sorry ah this is done now if we will find the lowest index if m was the name m j if m j less than m m i then is equals to j okay if j value is 0 sorry i value is 0 j value is i plus 1 and j will continue up to um, the whole length of the array only okay from one uh, greater than i <coughs> it will <coughs> run through the whole length of the array now it will check whether the first position is less than 
the element present at first position is less than the element present at zeroth position if it is then that is the um, you can say that is the smallest element so that smallest element what's uh, the any the index of the smallest element is kept at with the in the variable mean i will keep it here so what this loop does is finds the index finds the index of the smallest element element in the array okay it finds the index of the smallest element in the array okay <coughs> done this one is done now here another variable we need that is a temporary variable temp we need okay temporary variable we need for swapping we need a third variable that is only temp is known as okay so what temp will store this is a temporary variable what our temporary variable will store is if <coughs> we already got the smallest element that smallest element will be uh, swapped with the zeroth position of the element Cha, zeroth position of the element so here we will store that minimum element so minimum is empty minimum becomes empty minimum becomes empty so m mean will store m ith position and m ith position will store m this is correct see temp uh, or temporary variable will store the position or the lowest t temp stores the smallest element found in j loop in the j loop whatever the smallest element we have found or the index of the smallest element with that index we will access the smallest element and that will be stored in the temporary variable okay now in the position of the smallest element we will store the element <coughs> in the zeroth position what we have got we will exchange it and in the zeroth position first or the starting of the array the very uh, first position of the array we will store the smallest element like this we have changed it this thing ends here now we will just we will just print the array we will just print the array dot print ln we will give we need <coughs> to print it one after the other <coughs> sorry one after the other no syntax errors let's see whether any runtime error occurs or not what were the elements 10 5 9 3 7 2 10 5 9 3 7 2 10 5 9 3 7 2 see 2 3 7 5 9 10 2 3 this is 5 why it's coming like this uh 2 3 7 2 3 5 it should be right it will be five. <coughs> Sorry. It must be five. Let me see. This is I, this is this. I think this portion is okay. M uh, min is equals to this. M stores M stores the minimum part. And min stores the this uh, minimum part. It stores the ith position and i then gets the minimum value yes yes obviously this should be the <coughs> sequence i guess this should be the sequence this should be the sequence i i mean is equals to i every time mean is equals to i okay uh, this is the thing 
let's see for one more time let's enter something else four five seven nine ten sorry i'm already arranging it in ascending order obviously it will come in the arranging order wait wait obviously you will skip the video but i can't let me see okay let's uh, we are uh, doing it in ascending order let's just reverse the order 10 9 8 6 5 Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. See, I don't know. It's coming like this. There's some problem in that. Otherwise, uh, it's coming. See, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Sometimes that problem occurs. Let's check it with that also. What was the order? Ten, <coughs> ten, five, nine, three, seven, two, five, nine, three. Seven two two three seven five nine ten. Why this is coming? I don't know. But see, I haven't told you that my computer is something uh, you can say a uh, mad kind of computer. Sometimes that happens. Actually, I'm telling it. I'm not uh, joking because I have seen once that I have taken a picture also of that output. I have not written a particular output statement. But still, that output was uh, was shown on the terminal window, and I had that uh, picture in my phone also. That that thing was happening. I even I myself was confused till late that how could, is that possible? But it's kind of that computer which happens like this. But you can take a screenshot of this, or you can write this if you are having a pen and paper. So this will work. And if somewhere it doesn't, then you can tell me in the comment section. Uh, so basically this was the concept of uh, selection sort that first we will take the array, array obviously take the elements of the array and then the main part is we will first assume that the zeroth index is the or the starting index <coughs> but the i loop will continue from zero to the end of the array and j loop will continue one more than i loop till the end of the end okay now in the i loop we are selecting that the ith position is the minimum position or the uh, position containing the minimum or the smallest value okay then we will check with j we will check with j that the <coughs> array at uh, i m i is something is any other element is smaller than this or not okay any other element is smaller than the zeroth position element or not if a smallest element is found then that element will be the smallest so min is equals to that elements index will is kept in this min uh, uh, variable okay and outside the uh, j for loop we have just exchanged it or we have just swapped it okay tem stores the temporary variable stores the smallest element found in j loop okay now here now now here i can just write that the minimum <coughs> minimum value the smallest element is stored in the ith position okay in the ith position it is stored okay and the element element at ith position at ith position is stored in the uh, element at the ith position or rather you can say stored in the uh, or uh, sorry the smallest element is uh, stored in the ith position the smallest element is stored in the ith position the first or the other uh, at the starting of the array okay at the starting of the array i think here i did something or see the minimum part m comma min this contains the smallest number obviously this contains the smallest number 
that smallest number is stored somewhere the smallest number is stored let's write it in something uh, diff in a different manner let's write it in a different manner wait first let uh, mi uh, i have to keep it here mi i kept here means the ith position something i kept here so what will i do is at the ith position what will i store is i will store the smallest element is stored here and at the smallest element where it was present there i will store the 10th okay this is expected i will store the 10th i think the same thing should happen 10 5 9 3 7 2 10 5 9 3 7 2 no this is coming as it is let's uh, try with something else 10 9 6 4 2 1 then uh, 1 2 4 6 9 10. see it is coming in that order only it's a particular order it is coming both the things were same i what i wrote just you have to remember that we are exchanging it at the last okay we are selecting an element and we are checking that any element less than this element let me clear this then you can understand clearly we are selecting this element first of all first step is to select this element zeroth position element at the zeroth first zeroth position element then we will check the rest of the array if any element greater uh, less than this element the selected element is present or not if uh, for example 2 is found here in this case 2 is found that 2 is less than the 0th position element so that position number is stored in min uh, a kind of variable which in name is min okay and outside that outside the j loop what we are doing is we are uh, exchanging these uh very uh, this elements two will come at 10th tenth, the tens position and 10 will go to two's position again next element will be selected and again the same thing will occur that it will go to three position and three will go to his position like this again line will be checked nine will go to seven's position seven will go to line's position like this that is exchange that means it is first selected selection then find uh, smallest numbers numbers uh, index you find the smallest numbers index you find then swap swap the numbers then swap the numbers first select selection first select an element then find the smallest numbers in next with the compare comparing with the selected element and then just swap the numbers and then you will get a sorted array then you will get a sorted array so this was the whole session about that uh, how selection sort works so if you got to know any value from this uh, video please subscribe the channel and please let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt or anything you like uh, any good part of the video or any bad part of the video whatever positive negative as long as it remains uh, respectful okay please uh, share your views whatever you feel like and uh, let's uh, meet in the next video Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.